Donald Cowboy Stroni, congrats, UFC Hall of Famer, 2023. What does that mean to you? Just just that that title, UFC Hall of Famer, Donald you know, Cerrone. Yeah, it's it still hasn't sank in. It feels surreal, but it's starting to today. Like looking around and seeing the trophy and the jacket, and it's unbelievable. Like my career, going through all this, you'd always hear people say, "Future Hall of Famer," you know, and it never really. I was like, ah, oh, cool. Maybe they think I've maybe, and then it happened. I still didn't believe it, and now I'm here and it's setting in, it's, it's pretty cool. It's funny because your entire career you were very consistent about you know, what your goals were, and your goal was simply have the best fight on that, on that night, right? It was never about the title, maybe a little bit later on in the, in the run there was a title possibility sure. and you wanted it, but you, you, were, you said that, how many times did you say that? I don't care about titles, but the Hall of Fame different in some ways, like this is not just who's the best fighter on that night, but this is the body of work, right? This is the resume. It's just a cool that uh, I got recognized for answering the call every time they called, you know? And that was my that was my job, you know? To, when they say, who, we got a guy, I'm your man, let's go. And uh, never turned down a fight, never backing down, and just fighting until I couldn't fight anymore. And that's what I wanted. That was my legacy. I wanted Cowboys fighting. Oh, we gotta, we gotta find a bar, we gotta pull the car over, we gotta figure it out, and um, I think I succeeded. And you and you did it your way, right? Because I'm sure like I'm sure managers and agents probably said over the years, like, Donald, maybe don't take this fight. Sure. It's only in two weeks or yeah. and you did it your way the entire time. That's right, I did it my way, baby. And uh, I made it to the end. So here I am. This uh this Hall of Fame class that, that you're joining, Jose Aldo. Oh man, Anderson you ain't you ain't gotta go through them because I've grown up with them, they're all my friends. Like Jens fought on many cards with him. He fought one of my best friends, Lena Garcia. I was there for the fight. I fought the same night, you know, fought many times with uh, mm -hmm. Jose, many times. And I looked up to Anderson my entire career. Like, I remember his last fight. He came up and gave me a big hug. I was there live for it, you know? And it was, it was like a cool moment, like, hell yeah, old man. We're still doing it, you know? And it's cool. And even, even the fight that's going in, Robbie Lawler, oh, yeah. Rory McDonald, you have to appreciate that's that. A no -brainer. that yeah, that, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. I mean... That's the fight that everyone's like, yeah, it'd be foolish for that not to be. Just a couple last ones for you, Donald. Any, any moments in your career when you look back stand out to you, the most memorable things? I know there was a lot, but anything that stands out? Yeah, when I held my son up like Simba. It's probably the most, I have a he, painting of it at the house. The, yeah, yeah, the earmuffs on, and he was just a baby. And so that was probably the most memorable thing to me, you know, becoming a father. And now i got three little so it's uh, <laughs> It's wild. They'll all be here tonight. We all got matching suits. They'll be fun. And was there a fight that uh, you had a lot of them? But Razor Rob McCall, WC. Yeah, that was really? the fight I looked forward to the most in my career. It was the funnest barn burner. At the time, he was the champ, and we were just throwing down, and it was un unbelievable. I loved it. Yeah. You knew what I was going to ask before I even sure. could get it out. Yeah. All right. Great answer. You got Donald, it. Congratulations, man. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.